So in this video, we are looking at the product rule. Now, you've learned that the derivative of the sum of two functions is basically just taking the sum of each of their derivatives. However, the rule for uh, the product and quotient are a little bit different. They're, they're actually quite a bit different. You can't just take the, the derivatives and multiply them together. This is the product rule. If we have two functions, f and g, and each one of them in and of themselves are differentiable, okay, that's, that's the important part, then the derivative of their product will be the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first. Okay, so if you've got two functions, f and g, then we're looking at fg prime plus gf prime. Very important. So all this means is that the derivative of the product is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, now because of the commutative law, it can be the other way around. It could be the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. It really doesn't matter how you do it as long as you recognize that it's taking the derivative of one times the other plus the derivative of the other times the first. Okay, and it can be extended out to cover as many products as you need to. Say, for example, that you've got f, g, and h. You've got three things being multiplied together, three functions. Now, if they're all differentiable, and they're all functions of x, then the derivative of their product, we can take the derivative of the first times the other two. Then we take the derivative of the second times the first and the third. And then we take the derivative of the third times the first and the second. So as long as each time you take a derivative of a different one and multiply the other two, you're fine. Now, no matter how many functions are being multiplied together, it'll always be a sum of terms with one derivative and then the others, okay? So notice in the definition above, the first term had the derivative, uh, the second term had the second derivative, or the, the second term had the derivative, the third term, the third function had the derivative. So as long as you do that, it's okay. So let's do a little example right here. So we've got y equals x squared sine x cosine x. So notice this is one, two, three different functions of x, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the first. So y prime is equal to the derivative of the first. So what's the derivative of x squared? That's 2x. And then multiply the other two. Sine x, cosine x. Plus the derivative of the second one. So what's the derivative of sine? Derivative of sine is cosine x times x squared. And we're going to put that in parentheses. Times cosine x plus the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x times sine x and x squared. <coughs> Excuse me. So what do we wind up with? 2x sine x cosine x plus x squared cosine squared x minus x squared sine squared x. So that's it. That's that first derivative. And notice that we wound up with three terms because we had three functions. So we had to add them together. Now the derivative of a product of two functions is not in general given by the product of the derivatives of the two functions. For example, I can't say that x squared cosine x is the derivative of the first times the derivative of the second. Not equal to that. Okay, let's go back. Definitely not. We cannot. Now, there are some times where it just happens to work out that it does work, but it's not because this is the rule. So let's find the derivative here, example one. So this is only two. We've got a function here, we've got a function here. So derivative of h is the derivative of the first, which this is the sum. So it's going to be 3 minus 4x. Everybody see that? So the derivative of 3x is 3. We multiply 2 times negative 2, and we get the negative 4 and decrease our exponent by 1. And then times the second, 5 plus 4x, plus the derivative of the second, the derivative of 5 is 0, Derivative of 4x is just 4 times the second, 3x minus 2x squared. 
now we need to go ahead and fold this so we can combine like terms. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 4 is 12x minus 20x plus, no, it's minus 16x squared. And then here we've got plus 12x minus 8x squared. So we can put all this together. We're going to say negative 16 and negative 8 is negative 24x squared. So we got rid of the x squared. And I've got 12. 12 is 24 minus 20 is plus 4x. That gets rid of that, that, and that. And then the plus 15. So our derivative is negative 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. So if you have any questions about the product rule, please make sure and ask a question in class or shoot me a reminder.